a fresh salmon. Look at the shape of its head. It's an eating machine. Look at the shape of this salmon's head. It's been in the water a little bit longer. You can start to see the formation of a kipe. This is the big hormonal change that it goes through as it comes from seawater to fresh water. The shape of its brain, its skull, its beak at the front is all changing as it goes from an eating machine in the sea to a fish that just wants to spawn, that wants to find a place to spawn. And look how it develops. Just think about the hormonal changes needed to make that kite at the front of its beak. An amazing transformation of the salmon from salt water to fresh water. Now, does this make any difference to us? Mm, I don't know, have a think about that. Because the other thing that happens is that as the, uh, as the hormonal changes happen in the salmon's brain, it adapts its colouring. It adapts the way its eye will work and it will start to go from mostly seeing green colours as it comes out of the sea, mostly blue and green colours that seem to attract it and be visualised better in the fish's eye through to yellows. And as it's been in the sea longer or comes out of the sea later in the season, it starts to see the oranges and reds a lot better. So that's why we use the green, blue and yellows early on in the season. And as the eye begins to change with the hormones, we use the red and the orange. So you need to know something about the physiology of the salmon to really understand its behaviours. Maybe we'll talk about thyroxine changes in the future if I can actually keep you awake. But this subject, the salmon's jaw, found on the banks of the Findorn about four years ago. That's the subject of today's Tackle Tart. So try and understand your quarry. You'll enjoy it more.